Okay. Hi, this is Kevin with Maryland Wineries Association. Kevin, tell me about today, Sante Baltimore. What you, why are you hanging out here? What well, you plan to get out of this? Well, we're hanging out here because this is the place to be if you're a foodie and if you're into wine and beer. We've got uh, probably 40, 50 different wines, um, 20 from Maryland, all of our top end, all gold medal winning, you know, high end wines. Um, phenomenal beer. Uh, so you still talk to Hugh Sisson, the beer guy from oh, Heavy yeah. Seas? You oh, know yeah. what? But doesn't he write about wine as well? Isn't he? He does. Uh, he's got a, he's got a wonderful radio show about uh, wine, and uh, he does a great job just increasing the wine market, the wine viability of the wine market. Washes. You know. <laughs> That's excellent. That's, That's excellent. how it goes. So. so I had a great event yesterday. My yeah. my curious question for you is, is how do you think uh, Maryland wine has changed over the last couple of years, two three oh, years? Oh, I I, th I think over the last five years we've seen a, a, a marked increase in quality. Um, I think as, as new wineries come in and they're doing everything based on the latest, greatest knowledge and technology, they're coming out with phenomenal wines and the Old Guard is improving their product to, to bring everything up to uh, what we're calling world-class status. What's the growth of the industry? Like, uh, what, what, How many wineries have opened the last few years compared um, to, uh, say, say, since the last five years? Well, since last five years we've added 15 wineries. Wow. So we're up to 42 now. 42? We expect to be at 50-ish by the end of the year. So we're on a big growth curve right now. How do you guys market yourself uh, with Virginia wineries? Because Virginia has grown significantly. They had a little advanced start. Do you think there'll be a little merging of opportunities there, or I, do you I, think it's going to keep very separate? Well, I think I think there's going to be. I think Virginia is, is kind of the next the next big thing. You know, if you look at the national wine scene, right, right. Um, you know, New York has done very well. Finger Lakes have done very well. I think uh, probably Virginia and North Carolina. You know, the high end wines are going to come on okay. board. And when we reach a critical mass of 50, 60 wineries, I think you're going to start seeing Maryland wine take the national stage as well. I'm just sort of curious because living in D.C., yeah. we're right in the middle. It's like, can, can there be more combined marketing, combined events? But I guess well, there, there, can, there can be, and, and we, you know, we strive to get what Virginia has. They just increased their marketing budget from 500,000 to 1.3 million. Right. Uh, we went from zero to twenty thousand dollars. Wow. Year, so huh? We're feeling pretty good. So about you get a big something. salary from those guys. <laughs> yeah, right. We're feeling pretty good about ourselves. How much of that twenty thousand is yours? Uh, yeah, about eight bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good though. So tell me, just in your sort of your conclusion, yeah. where, where, do, where do you see uh, food and wine coming together in Maryland? I, I mentioned you, I'm big into local foods. Yeah. How, how do you see the connection and uh, helping out uh, the wineries? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing uh, Baltimore being a place where good local wine and great local food are coming together because um, they've got the infrastructure of great farms surrounding the area, they've got great farmers markets. Um, Frederick's turning out to be that way, Mount Airy's turning out to be that way. There are a lot of places around the state. Um, and, and you can name the really good restaurants that are pairing the local wine with the local food. And they tell you where everything's from, um, you know, full disclosure, because they want people to learn more about eating and buying local. So we're all about that. All right. Sounds real good. Thanks a lot, Kevin, hey, from the Maryland Wineries Association. Thank you.